Hey there, Christian Walsh, Cobalt Banker Wire Associates, here with a timely update on leasing out a home or apartment in today's crazy days. So it's April 21st, 2020. Feels like the thousandth day we've been on lockdown. Eventually we'll be out of this. But in the meantime, when it comes to leasing a unit, whether it's a house, a condo, townhouse, apartment, uh, process is very, very different and have a little patience because it may take a little longer than it has in the past. So we put together a list of 10 tips to help make the process a little easier. So number one is we highly recommend the unit is vacant. It's gonna be much easier, much less stress for all parties involved if the renter is actually out of the unit. Even if it means it's gonna take a little longer, it's still worth the headaches of avoiding those headaches and uh, just having the unit vacant. So we highly recommend don't start trying to lease it out until the renters are actually out of there. Number two, we highly recommend be conservative in pricing. So you're gonna wanna find data on the last 30 days of rentals. We can't go back much farther in 30 days, even things 30 days ago were, were much different. So we wanna look at recent data and then we actually wanna price a little under that. Uh, just to make sure that uh, we have a rate that is going to be compelling to actually get people to move. Uh, number three, we want high quality wide angle pictures. So most phones today, you know, iPhone or Android, have amazing cameras built in and have wide angle lenses. So take advantage of that and get, get pictures of just every room. Uh, it doesn't hurt to have too many pictures. Get the amenities outside the yard. Uh, get some nice high quality wide angle pictures. Number four, and this is gonna be important, a video walkthrough. So this isn't necessarily like a fancy video piece put together with crazy cuts like we do for our listings, but you're at the very least, you're gonna to wanna to have a good video walkthrough. So show the front of the building, you're gonna to wanna to walk into the unit, show every room, closet, just show people because they're gonna watch this video to try and determine if this is a place that they ultimately wanna look at and move into. You're also gonna to wanna to show washer and dryer location. So if it's hookups in the unit, in the garage, machines, show that. If it's a separate laundry room, show that. You're gonna to wanna to show the private space, so a backyard. You're gonna to wanna to show the parking and the garage. Not exciting stuff, but really this is gonna save a lot of time and effort and really help you find the, uh, make sure the place is gonna work for the prospective renter and save a lot of time and headaches for you. So definitely have a good video walkthrough. So number five, you're gonna post it online and we highly recommend Zillow Rental Manager because it goes on Zillow and then from there goes to Trulia, Hotpads and a bunch of other great sites. And then we also like apartments.com. So you're gonna take your pictures, you're gonna take your right price, you're gonna to try to get a link to your video walkthrough. We recommend uploading that to YouTube and creating an unlisted link um, that will be just for that video that you send out. So you're gonna put all that on Zillow Rental Manager and apartments.com and you're gonna wait for the leads to, the people to reach out to you, the prospective renters. So number six is have a good email template for all those prospective renters. And what I would include in this email is I definitely put the address again, bedrooms and bathrooms. I put the deposit, the monthly rent. Seems redundant, but a lot of renters will be reaching out to a lot of different landlords, a lot of different properties. So just restate everything, but there's more important stuff you're gonna include. And this is important, more important than it ever was before. You're gonna include a link to that video walkthrough and you're gonna tell them they have to watch the video walkthrough. So they may not have done it on Zillow or apartments.com, but now they have to have the link and they have to go through it. The other thing you're gonna ask them to do is take a drive by, make sure they like the neighborhood and the location. So in just asking those two things, you're helping kind of filter through the list. You're getting the cream of the crop to come through. And then any other important things, if you allow pets, ask them to send you a picture of the pet. That's another thing they can do right there. If you have any requirements you have, for example, you only consider 12 month minimum lease, uh, put it in there, let them know ahead of time, answer those common questions. You can even restate the fact that it has washer dryer, uh, garage spaces, just anything that's gonna restate what's already there that's gonna make it easier for them to remember 
and potentially reach out to you. So in that email, say, hey, once you've done all these things, once you've watched the video and drove by, reach out to me, and then we're gonna set up the showing. So number seven is the showing. This is very different from what showings have ever been like. I used to do open houses for my rental units I was helping clients with. We can't do open houses, but we can do showings. But before you can actually do the showing, you need a, a form signed by the prospective renter. And we highly recommend using a form to reduce liability. Now we're lucky that the California Association of Realtors came out with the PEED, which stands for the Coronavirus <laughs> Property Entry Advisory and Declaration. These forms all roll off the tongue. But this form, and you can reach out to us, we can get one to you. Uh, that is if you don't hire us, well, because we use it anyway. But this form basically outlines some of the risks involved with going out and seeing a property. This is going to help reduce liability. Now, have there been any coronavirus lawsuits related to showing real estate? No. But you don't want to be the first, and you don't want to be the first one to lose that lawsuit. So this form will help with liability. Okay? So number eight, getting ready for the showing, getting ready for the appointment. This is the more fun stuff related to COVID-19. You have to sanitize the property. So you have to wipe down door handles, you have to wipe down countertops, wipe down surfaces that people are gonna touch. And you do that before the appointment and after the appointment. So that's important. You're gonna to wanna to maintain social distance. So when they're there, you can stay outside the unit or you can maintain at least six feet between you and the folks. You're gonna to wanna to ask them not to bring too many people. Just whoever's gonna rent really should be there. And then you may wanna wear masks, uh, mask and gloves. A lot of people are doing that now. Um, I've, I've had that happen on a lot of my recent showings where we wear mask and gloves and they wear mask and gloves. So a whole different world when it comes to that. All right, so number nine. After the appointment, after that showing, you're gonna email the paperwork. So that's the tip. You can't hand them an application anymore. You don't wanna hand over paper, nor do you wanna take paper from them at the appointment. So you don't wanna take pay stubs or bank statements when you're there. You gotta do that stuff through email. So make sure you have a template email with what you need from them and make sure they get all that stuff back to you. But again, don't have one in your car. Don't bring any of that with you. You're gonna to have to email it. So then our last tip, number 10, I appreciate you sticking through all these tips in this crazy new world. If all this sounds like way too much work, I recommend you hire a professional. So of course we can help you out here in Orange County, California, but reach out to a professional, reach out to a person who's gonna help guide you through all these steps, get it done right, and ultimately find that new renter who's gonna be the perfect renter for your building. So hopefully you find these 10 tips helpful. If you have any questions, of course, you can reach out to us, 949-677-3466. Christian Walsh, Cobalt Banker Wire Associates, we're here to help.